Hi there, is welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here, and we're continuing our GCSE revision videos. It's video 10 on calculator skills. As with all these short videos, they're a very short, sharp introduction to a topic, about five minutes long. I teach you a topic, and then what I do is I let you try some exam questions afterwards. So make a revision card using my examples, and then on the back of that card, try the questions I'm about to show you. Okay, so here we're going to do four examples. Make sure you write these on the front of a revision card and on the back of a revision card, do the exam questions I will show you afterwards. Okay, so example one. We're working out 10.4 squared, subtract 1.23 squared, and all of that divided by 4.8 squared. We're gonna give our answer, all the figures of our calculator, and then round to 2DP. So usually they ask that sort of style in the question, they ask two parts. So that might be a part A and that might be a part B. Okay, they tend to be like that. So let's have a go at doing all of these. Okay, calculator out. Important thing, you know how to use your own calculator. Let's use the fraction button. It makes it much easier. And then we type 10.4 squared, subtract 1.23, press the down to get on the bottom of the fraction, 4.8 squared. Now, before you uh, press equals, Put it right next to your question, check it looks the same, it does, and press equals. And we're going to write down the answer 4.641, so this is 4.641, 059028, so 059028. Now if we want to round that to two decimal places, okay, we want to round that to two decimal places, we're going to put our line after the second decimal place, because that's a one, this stays as it is, you round it off, so it's 4.64 to two decimal places. Okay, next one. So again, we've got a fraction, press the fraction button. 8.21, subtract 1.49, down, and then press 6.2, this time it's multiplied by 3.4. Put your uh, working in, by your question to check it looks exactly the same, it does, then press equals. You get a fraction, if you want to decimalize it, you press the SD button. So it's 0 0.318, so 0 0.318, So if you round that to 2SF, put a line after the second significant figure. Zero at the start doesn't count, that's the first, that's the second. There, put your line there. Because that's an eight, it makes this round up to a two. So we'd have 0 0.32 to 2SF. Next one, calculator out again. It's another fraction. So press the fraction button. Press square root, 20.4. Now, it's really important you do this. If you do plus three, you'll notice that the 20.4 and the three are under the square root. You don't want that. So you, in order to avoid that, you have to come out of the square root by pressing the side button. And then plus three, down 8.1, take away 2.7. And check it like that, it looks like that. Now it's very important you realize that that three is not under the square root. And when you do that, you get 1.391, so you get 1.391, uh, 969641, 9696141. One four, one four. Now you want to round that to 3SF, there's the first significant, the second, the third, put your line there, that one keeps that the same. 1.39 to 3SF, significant figures. And last one, um, when you're doing trig in the exam, make sure it says D at the top of your calculator, or DEG. The way to do that is you press shift mode number three, so it says D. Shift mode, and you want DEG, number three. So for example, if it was said that, it says R, not D, shift mode number three. Okay, let's type that fraction. We type sign 60, close that bracket, because uh, it opened a bracket, plus cos 60, close that bracket, all over the square root of two plus one. Now look, I've purposely made a mistake. Can anyone see what the mistake is? Well, I didn't the one should not be under the square root. So go back, come out of the square root, add one. It's really important you do that and then put it beside and check it's the same. So that's very important. 
Press equals and you get 0 0.5658, 0 0.5658, uh, 2624882624882488. Two, okay, and then you round it to 1dp, so you put a line after um, the first decimal place, that 6 makes that uh, uh, round up to a 6, so it's 0 0.6 to 1dp. Okay, and so hopefully you have that in your revision card. You've learned the little tricks here about making sure you come out of the square root if you have to and using the fraction button and um, checking it looks like on the calculator and using degrees if you're using a trigonometric. Okay, that's it for this video and I want you to try four questions. So I'll pause the video and go through the answers in 10 seconds for the first two. So try those. Okay, for the first one, uh, you have to type this and write down all the figures for part A. It says write all the figures of your answer down, and then it says round it to three significant figures for part B. So, press the fraction button. You want to press 45.6 multiplied by 123 down 0 0.34 squared. Subtract 0 0.28 squared and press equals. You get this answer here. So, you're going to write it all down because it asks you to. So 150774, so 150774, and then you get 0 0.1935, 0 0.1935. Rounding that to 3SF, your first significant, your second significant, your third, line after it, that 7 makes that a 1, so you have 151. But then you have to fill in zeros for the rest, 0, 0, 0, up until your decimal point. So 151,000 would be the answer. The other way of thinking of it is you're rounding to the nearest thousand. Is 150,000 or 151,000 the nearest thousand? Next one, again, calculator out, fraction button, 38.5, multiplied by 14.2, all over 18.4, subtract 5.9. Press equals, and it says give your answer as a decimal, so press the SD, 43.736, 43.736. It then says give your answer to one significant figure. The first significant figure is this, so the line goes after it. That three keeps that the same, you round off, so you keep your four, you write a zero up until the decimal point, so it's 40. Last two, pause the video, have a go, I'll go through in 10 seconds. Okay, this one here, it says work out this and it says write all your answers on your calculator as a decimal. So it doesn't ask you to round even. So you do square root 20.4 down 6.2 multiplied by 0 0.48. It looks exactly like that in the question. Press equals and you get 1.517, 1 1.517, 1 uh, 6868, 6868. Okay, and the next one, this is trig. Check the calculator, it has D there, it does. Now watch this, press the square root first, then you want a fraction under the square root, tan 60, close that bracket for 60, you must remember to do that, plus one, over tan 60, close that bracket, subtract one. And you press equals and you get 1.931, 851653, 815653, I think. Eight, uh, sorry, what was that? 85, sorry, 1.3918, I made a mistake here. Um, so it'd be 1385 and we're done. So that's it for this video. Hopefully now you can use your calculator to work out the calculations accurately.